Hi, I'm Daryl White. I am a retired junior high school football coach, and I'm mood lighting as an ophthalmologist. Uh, I'm an anterior segment doctor. I um, do. Uh, I'm, I'm a cataract and LASIK surgeon, but I also have a particular interest and expertise in the treatment of dry eye. And if anybody knows who I am, at least in the ophthalmic community, that's that's who they know me as. I've always been in private practice. I, I'm in a private practice group right now. It's myself and three optometrists. And um, again, for the eye care people out there, I would say that we're a we're kind of on the low end of the the high volume cataract scale. We do about 800 cataracts a year. We do about 40 or 50 percent. Uh, of the advanced implants with those cataracts. Our practice is, is very busy and we do basically all things anterior segment, everything that uh, my eye doctor friends would consider uh, as core vision care services. In our practice a couple of weeks ago, I, I really started to pay very close attention to what was happening internationally and I was, I was forced to pay attention uh, on a very personal level because I had been invited to speak at the OSN Italy conference in Milan. So I was really paying attention. And the worse it got, the more clear it was going to be that we were going to have to do things here. So I started preparing my staff that things were going to change and change dramatically. That in fact happened last week. I had the, uh, the single hardest meeting after the single hardest decision of my entire professional career last Wednesday. Uh, it became clear that our little practice just was not going to be able to survive if we stayed open. And even before the governor of Ohio, um, I practice just outside of Cleveland, even before the governor of Ohio essentially shut down all commerce in the state, we shut down on Thursday at five o'clock. I furloughed about 80% of my staff, including one of my children. My youngest child works for us. Uh, they are the primary wage earner for the family and the health insurance that they get for the family comes through our practice. I kept two of our employees on board. Two of our employees were in a very economically fragile circumstance. It's uh, quite possible that without their biweekly paychecks that their families would be outdoors. So I kept them and uh, we continue to have them manning the phones and things of that sort. And we pledged to our employees that we would cover the health insurance premiums uh, for as long as we could. Uh, we would continue to cover them until the, uh, until the till ran dry. So our practice is closed. Uh, I can't imagine a greater impact on the practice. I had one of my hips replaced last year and I personally didn't work for four and a half weeks, but the three optometrists who work with me did and they were crazy busy. And although we certainly didn't turn a profit during that time, uh, we were able to stay afloat and I was able to keep everybody employed. So all my employees uh, have applied for unemployment. Um, I am uh, touched beyond words. And if I talk about it, I'll start crying uh, by how stricken they were for me. Uh, my wife does all the back office things and handles all the things like payroll and how stricken they were for her. And how to a person when they left the office, they said, we can't wait to come back. We can't wait to be part of this team again.